Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pauline. I have quite a lot of book mail to unbox. I kind of just let them pile up over the last few weeks. I figured I'd let them pile up and then I could just open them all together. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Most of this I think is PR. I recognize three or four that I bought myself and I've literally just practiced the self-control not to open immediately so that I could do this all together. But I'm so excited to unbox these. So let's get started. Okay, I really don't have any method of opening them. I'm kind of just going to open them as I go. First, I'm going to show you books that I got in recently that I technically already opened from way before I decided that I was going to do this book mail unboxing thing. This is the latest one that I picked up, These Infinite Threads. This is the sequel to This Wolving Kingdom. I still have not read book one, but I figured when I read it and start it and then finish it, then I'll have book two handy. So I got this. I also got final offer. This got delivered the day of the release, so at the end of January. I have not started it yet. I'm a little bit intimidated. I am so scared to read this because this is almost 600 pages and it's the last book in the trilogy series. So I have this one. Okay, so this next one, I'm pretty sure I bought for myself. It's just from Amazon. Let me see. Oh, this is Powerless by Elsie Silver. It's book three in the Chestnut Springs series. I'm also getting the final copy in the alternate covers just because I have both sets and I want to complete the set as it goes. I don't want to be missing a book. So I got this. This is Small Town Romance, Friends to Lovers, Hockey Player, and Ballerina. It was my first book in February. This one says it's from Source Books. I think these are probably going to be Read Bloom books. Bloom books. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god! Oh my god, shut up. Okay, this is A Crown of Ivy and Glass by Claire Legrand. She's the same author for the Fury Born trilogy, which I actually read that like 2020, 2021 it might have been, and I never got to the second and third book in the series. It's a trilogy, but this is gonna be a new book coming out from her. When does this come out? May 2023 and I'm so excited to have this in my hands. I'm really trying to get back in my fantasy era. I actually requested this from Sourcebooks and they were very kind enough to send this to me so I'm so excited. I love the cover. It's so pretty. All right this is another one from Amazon. What's in here? I'm pretty sure I ordered this. No I did not order this. <gasps> this was sent to me. Wait who sent this? Oh, Sarah. Sarah Nay sent this, How to Lose at Love. I needed a good girl to save my bad reputation. With too much on my plate, the very last thing on my mind was a relationship. The football draft was looming and dating got in the way. My sports agent suggested that being seen in public with a respectable girl would be good for my bad reputation. I couldn't think of a single person to help me out. Except Ryan Winters. And it's fake dating. Thank you so much, Sarah, for sending this. I've only read... I think two or three books from her. It's called, I can see it from here, The Coaching Hours, I believe. No, I think I read all three. Did I read all three? I might have just read two. I think it's The Coaching Hours and The Studying Hours, which I really, really liked. Those two were my first reads from her, but now I have this. So again, thank you, Sarah. All right, next up, this one is from Target. So I know what's in here. I actually bought this. They had a buy one, get one half off sale. This is... Keep This Promise, the special edition, which I actually realized when I was going through my book cart that I had the regular person on the cover for this. And now I guess I have also the special edition. And then I also got Whispers of You by Katherine Cowles. Cowles? Cowles? I think it's Cowles. This is such a stunning cover. Oh my god. I don't even know what any of these are about, but I'm so excited to read them. I love this cover. This one is from Reading Portal, which I'm pretty sure this is something that I ordered. I'm going to take a wild guess right now and say that this is the Love on the Brain and Love Hypothesis pins that I got. It was a pre-order. I'm so excited to see what's in here. I think it is. Okay, hold on. Let me see. This is totally the pins. Comes in a cute little box. Oh my gosh. They sell the page overlays. I have a set for The Cruel Prince and also for Kingdom of the Wicked. And they are so pretty. And when they announced these pins for Ali Hazelwood, oh my god. I jumped on them so fast. These are so pretty. 
they are humongous okay love on the brain that's what that looks like oh my god look at how pretty that is and then this is the love hypothesis <gasps> i am so excited oh i love ally and these are freaking stunning they're huge though what can i show as like a reference picture um this is my phone i don't know that, that doesn't make any sense actually hold on um tape <laughs> like a tape dispenser the pin is bigger than the tape i don't know is that a good reference maybe you could just hold it up to my phone so you can see i actually don't know it is as big as my palm i think that is the best reference it's as big as my palm i can't believe i waited that long to open these this one is from illumicrate now i'm also going to take a guess on what this is I think this is Alone With You in the Ether, the special edition. Oh, it is. I love Alone With You in the Ether. And this edition is freaking stunning. It's a hardback special edition, so there's no dust jacket on it. And there's like a little like opening right here. Look at the edges on this. It's also signed. I'm in love with this. So this one is from Simon Schuster, I believe. This came to my P.O. box. I don't really know what it is. Oh wait, this is huge. Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. This is for the Shadow Hunters, The Last Hours novel. What is this? You could literally clobber somebody with this. This is for the Last Hours series, Chain of Thorns, gorgeous cover. I remember them sending me a blanket with this cover and it is the softest blanket ever. I literally use it all the time. I've never read anything from Cassandra Clare. I do own quite a bit of her books, but I've never read any of them. Like I own the entire, I think, Shadow Hunters series. No, I own the entire Mortal Instruments. I also own the Infernal Devices and I also own the special edition for the Infernal Devices. And I think I own Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron. I've never read any of them. But thank you, Simon and Schuster, for sending this. How many pages is this thing? This is like 800 pages. That is a thick book. If I were to read anything from her, I think it would probably be The Infernal Devices, which I know people will tell me not to read that until I've read The Mortal Instruments. But seriously, I'm not going to commit myself to six books to read three. I may get really confused if I just decide to start these, but I just heard that they are so good. And I know a lot of people, I think, cried in Clockwork Princess, it might have been. That actually really intrigues me. That makes me want to read it even more. Okay, this next one, I'm pretty sure I purchased. This is from a Fay Crate, but what could this possibly be? Maybe a pin? What did I order from Fay Crate? Um, a Love Hypothesis item. What is this? I don't remember buying this. Um, what is this called? You know, like the, um, see? Like, the, it's like a canvas. Is that, is that what it is? A canvas? I feel like there's a specific name for this. But I got another The Love Hypothesis inspired item, which I love that for me. Ooh, very pretty. It has something up here. What would I do with this? What is this for? I love it though. I love it. I also got a mini enamel pin set that is very pretty. Let's take it out of the case so there's no glare on this. That's what that looks like. Super pretty. More of the Love Hypothesis inspired items. I love that for me. Up next is also from Simon & Schuster, but this one is from Atria specifically, and it is Icebreaker, obviously, from the cover of this. Icebreaker got picked up by Atria Books, so this is the final published copy, traditionally published copy, and it comes with a pencil that says property of Anastasia Allen. It comes with a highlighter, yes, a highlighter, and it also comes with this card and obviously also the book. Oh, and a notepad. Oh my god, I love this notepad. This is going to be very useful. I am going to fill this up with a bunch of like random shit that I'm probably still going to forget to do. But this is the final copy. I really liked it. Very hot. I think I remember it reading really long for me though, so I give it four stars. Okay, this next one is from Hello Lovely Box. And I think this is their trope of the month book, which every month they have a different trope and they send out a book for it with a special edition cover. 
So this one is, let's see. This one is called The One Month Boyfriend by Roxy Noir. Oh my God, fake dating my sworn enemy to make my ex so jealous he can't see straight. <gasps> Worth it. Oh my God. I love their trope of the month selections and they always come with special edition covers. If you guys are interested, they post what their trope of the month is on their Instagram and it's available for purchase on hellolovelybox.com, the website. I am an affiliate with them and I'll leave my discount code in the description if you guys wanna use it, but no pressure, you totally don't have to. I'm pretty sure this came from the January box, so I'm gonna put up the specific tropes that they put on their Instagram for this one, but this is the one month boyfriend. So this one is This Time It's Real by Anne Liang. This is YA romance, I believe. I've only read one book from her, which I think might have been her debut book, If You Could See the Sun. That was Academic Rival to Lovers, and I read that last year. It says, get ready to fall in love with this hilarious rom-com about a girl who begins a fake relationship with the famous actor in her class. There's big chocolate bars in these the entire time, and I've literally waited so long to open them. They also have these cute little send a little love note thing. This is so cute, tiny little envelopes. And then we have a pouch, this time it's real. And then we have the book itself. I'm so excited to read this because I'm such a sucker for fake dating. And I really liked If You Could See the Sun. Thank you so much, I Read YA, for sending this book and all the other goodies in it. It's like box graveyard behind you. The camera, I mean. Ow! Oh, that was so ungraceful of me. Mm -hmm. 